is going on everybody my name is pete and you guys are watching pay to drive and pay to drive vlogs day number 1547 coming at you once again with another brand new video hope you're all doing fantastic out there ladies and gentlemen if you drive for apps like grubhub doordash uber eats or any of the others you my friends are in the right place to stay up to date with what's going on in the gig economy so get started right now for free Hit that red subscribe button down below. Turn on all notifications so you're always notified whenever I post something new. And if you wouldn't mind it, hit that like button down below. It just lets YouTube know I'm doing a good job. In fact, my friends, leave a comment right now saying liked so I know you did it. L-I-K-E-D. And let's jump into the email. Triple Lindy Thornton Mountain Style. And away we go. All right. So this comes from one of our patrons, Chad Howell. And he says the following, hey Pete, Chad again, thanks for your videos, they've been really helpful. Glad to hear that, my friend. I just wanted to throw this out there to see if you or any of your viewers have had a similar experience. Fair enough. I had a delivery recently in which the customer had informed me that their drop-off was different than the address given on the DoorDash app. So let's just pause for a second. What does that sound like? Fraud. I don't know. But then he goes on to say, in the mountains of <clears throat> in the mountains of eastern Kentucky, a lot of times, uh, as soon as I turn off the highway, I'll lose service, which can happen in you know mountain range areas. Uh, this was one of those times. Given that they didn't leave me a house number and all roads surrounding that address on the app said private property, I just took the food to the drop-off provided. Once I got back on the highway, I texted my apology to them and contacted DoorDash, who actually complimented me saying that my stats show that I'm a good dasher and not to worry. Have you ever encountered a similar experience? P.S. Then he goes, oh yeah, dig it. I'm digging it. All right, so, Chad, uh, you did you did everything right. You did everything right, and 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 you know what? I'm so glad that you contacted DoorDash because you know what? Most dashers would have just left it right there or done something. You know, let's put it this way: if you are not covering yourself, nobody else is going to do that for you. So you need to cover yourself. Because, like I said, no one's going to do it for you. You're basically, you know, it's like every man for himself. You know, like, you know that old saying. So, Chad, I think you handled it well. The only thing I could see being an issue here is that if the customer really wanted to be a jerk, they could leave you a bad, you know, rating or a bad review saying that like, oh, I never got my order, blah, 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 blah. But the fact that you called... DoorDash and they marked it in the system that you contacted them, that you fulfilled the order to the best of your ability, okay? That's what matters here. And the fact is you you handled it uh, correctly, you did it by the book, and that's the best thing you can do here. Now, I would keep an eye on your ratings and I would keep an eye on your reviews and what and whatnot in the next coming days or weeks to see if anything goes down because of this. If that's the case, contact DoorDash right away and say, listen, on such and such a date at such and such a time, I dropped off this order from such and such restaurant or wherever you were dropping it off from to this person, you know, screen, whenever, this is what I do. Whenever you're in a sticky situation where you're unsure, screenshot everything you can, and save it. So just in case DoorDash tries to send you an email saying, hey, you have a contract violation or something, you can respond and be like, no, I did everything I was supposed to do. So don't ever let them take advantage of you. Um, I, I have run into situations like this myself and I contact Grubhub or DoorDash or Uber Eats just to let them know exactly like you did. So drivers, dashers, do you think Chad handled this well? Do you think he should have done it somewhere different so in a different way let me know your thoughts down below in the chat or the comments and of course if any of you guys ever have anything you want to share with me a comment a topic a question a story an article whatever you got send me an email paid to drive stories at gmail.com it's the best way to reach me uh information's in the description down below just click show more below this video or for a quicker response you guys can message me through patreon at patreon.com 
forward slash pay to drive. That link is in the description down below or the pin top comment. Now, anyone who signs up as a patron is my way of saying thank you is I give you guys shout outs in all my new videos. So I'm gonna do that right now. When you hear your name called, say, hey, Pete, I heard my name. We've got the very generous tier five driver, Ron Grubb. Thank you, Ron. And the very generous John Birchfield, David Moore, Angela Counts McCarty, Steel United 111, Brian Pomeroy, Brian Medina, Heidi Barnes, Jimmy Santiago, Joe Valerio, Kurt Paul, Laura Love, Tulsa Todd, Agus, Alan G. Van Horn, Drew Hanor, Fernando Carranza, Frank Haviland, Fresh One, Jason Casta, Natalie Mosley, Sarah Keston, Scott Freisner, Sherry Cassidy, Stephen Neely, Tom Perry, Chadrick Howell, there he is, one of our patrons. Uh, Brian Richardson, Candace Mitchell, Jenny Thomas, Joyce Hine, LaDonna Roten, Matt Epperson, Nick G, Stacey Miller, Terrence Pacheco, Valerie Brown, and Rebecca Swenson. So huge shout outs to every single one of you guys out there. Really, really appreciate you all. So yeah, if you want to sign up, links are in the description down below. Uh, who's going to be the next patron? Maybe it'll be you. So let's find out. Let's see if we can get three more patrons today. All right. So moving right along, I hope every single one of you out there is saving lots of money with your gas with the free gas app called Get Upside. That link is in the description down below or in the pin top comment. Look for the link that says Get the Free Gas app. You click on there. It'll tell you how to install it on whatever kind of phone, tablet, or device that you use. Then from there, you go to your gas station, pump your gas, print out your receipt, take a picture of your receipt with the Get Upside gas app. And within 48 hours or so, you'll get anywhere from 15 cents to 45 cents a gallon back which is pretty fantastic. And if a friend or family member signs up using your code, you'll get paid every time they pump gas. It's called Get Upside. Link's in the description. Make sure to download it today, everybody. And of course, if you guys want one of these Live to Drive, Drive to Live t-shirts, you can get your own at paytodrivestore.com. That's right, everybody. Go check that out. Link's in the description of the pin top comment, of course. So we've got lots of brand new designs, colors, sizes, you name it. We probably have it on sale every day at paytodrivestore.com. Go check that out, my friends. That's right. Paytodrivestore.com is the place for you. Uh, so yeah, links down below in the description or in the pin top comment. And if you made it to the end of this video, I'm very grateful for you all. Let me know by leaving a comment right now saying end 534, E-N-D 534, just lets me know you made it to the end of the video. Don't forget to hit that free red subscribe button down below and turn on all notifications so you're always notified whenever I post something new. And if you wouldn't mind it, hit that like button down below. It just lets YouTube know that I'm doing a good job. And uh, yeah, all that good stuff. Make sure you're subscribed to my other channel, Team PTD. Link's in the description and uh, pin top comment. Go check it out and subscribe with all notifications on. And until next time, get that money, get that honey. Keep hustling, keep bustling. We'll see you next time right here on Paid to Drive and Paid to Drive Vlogs. And as always, drive safe, be well, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace, everybody. Later.